Hello, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. I'm going to show you something that is very rare in West Yorkshire these days, and that is, <laughs> look at that, the sun. <laughs> but that's not all I'm going to show you today. So in today's vlog, we are going to be looking at Meltham Mills Reservoir, and that's up on the hill. I'm just taking a little shortcut through the pleasure grounds of Meltham. So if you're visiting Meltham, the pleasure grounds, beautiful place to, uh, to have a, a walk, a little cut through. It's a nice little shortcut through the middle of Meltham. So let's get up the hill to uh, Meltham Mills Reservoir and have a look what's going on up there. It's been a beautiful walk up through the woods with the brook running through the middle and that brook is the beginnings of the River Cone. It does uh, confluence with a few other little brooks and they all have funny little names as well. But uh, they all confluence and uh, they are the beginnings of the River Cone. So what do you think? Lovely, lovely day as well. Good to feel that sunshine on my old face. <laughs> so this mill pond was built around about 1805 and it was uh, primarily built to supply water to Jonas Brooks and Brothers and they were situated down there at um, Meltham Mills. It only covers about five acres. <laughs> Still got to look out for the mud. We've had so much rain. I cannot believe how much rain we've had here in West Yorkshire. So rainy. Can you imagine having a little boat and sailing it around this reservoir whenever you liked? <laughs> well, back in the 1800s, there was a little boathouse around here somewhere and it belonged to Edward Brook, one of the Brook brothers from uh, Meltham Mills down there and uh, he of course must have sailed around here quite a life. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I'm enjoying it, haven't been here before and I'm really glad that you are with me. Always nice to just find somewhere to clean the boots off. Amazing boots. Feet are still bone dry after being submerged in the water. Berghaus, super light. Okay, let's get to the other side of the reservoir and start uh, walking back, see what we see over this side. It's a beautiful place to fish. There is actually a private fishing club here. I think it's called Windy Bank fishing club lovely place and uh, it's a lovely place to skate can you imagine skating on there well in 1881 it froze over thick ice and uh, the locals enjoyed skating on it for quite a few weeks wow i don't know that you can hear them buzzards up there <laughs> you can't see them on this lens you know, whenever you don't come out with the long lens. Anyway, there's six buzzards up there and they're having fun. Kind of dancing around together. That would be great footage. <laughs> they're just there. With the naked eye, it's easy to see them. That's amazing. Now beyond the serenity and scenic views, of Meltham Mills Pond. It has witnessed some tragedy over the years. Oh no, Rob, we were just relaxing. Yeah, well, there's been some dramas gone on here and this video is gonna take a little bit of a dark turn. Mm -hmm. 
1863, Richard Hallis met his fate here at the reservoir and in the death report it said unstable state of mind uh, so they believe he took his own life and tragedy struck again at the reservoir 1876 when joseph mosley drowned accidental drowning was the verdict and james riley met a similar fate in 1879 and the verdict was they couldn't work out how he entered the water it's so calm here it's hard to believe that this sort of tragedy has happened here so many times, but there's something about beauty spots. Now in 1885, Albert Sykes fell through the ice while skating and the other skaters couldn't save him and his body was recovered using grappling irons. Now, as if that wasn't dark enough, this reservoir has experienced a darker setting, the setting of a murder. In 1931, Eliza Winterbottom was murdered by Charles Lappage. After an extensive manhunt round Meltham, Charles Lappage was found. He shot himself with a double barrel shotgun. He was found right next to the reservoir. So as I finish off this video, making my way back down, following the little brook, the beginning of the River Corn. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Meltham Mills. And we've seen that beyond its beauty, it has experienced the history of both joy and sorrow. Where will I be next time? I don't know, but what I do know is I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.